Real quick, before we bring Jessica in here, the uh, the consequences and rewards of our game that we played at the beginning is the winner, myself, I get to start the interview with Jessica, and then uh, second place enters uh, a time later, and uh, third and fourth place, so on until everyone is on screen. So without further ado, Jessica Schloth from The Den. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Very good. Very good. Um, first of all, thank you for your time, for being here. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm a huge fan of The Den. I'm a huge fan of Kate Mulligans. I'm a huge fan of Saul's. Um, Den, Den, Den is my favorite faction, I'll just say it. And that's the God's honest truth. Um, but something I would like to know, uh, was Kate, the, did you did you have any conversations with Kate before the draft? Um, and either way, was she the only manager that you had spoken with? Or if she was, was she the only manager you'd spoken with? It's funny. I think that most of the managers, when they picked their free agents, they knew it pretty early on or before it was announced. So I think a lot of those people were kind of like the middle men of it all. So I never spoke directly to any managers. <laughs> like it was always someone in between. Uh, which was interesting. So I didn't really speak to Kate a lot. I think she kind of went off of um, the opinion of Ben, who I am a patron of, and I kind of had been studying with him. And so that was how I got to know Kate um, through him and then other managers as well. I never spoke to directly. It was like a player who said that they were like on behalf of this manager. So I kind of knew like the certain free agents that would get some of them that were getting announced before that happened because of that. <laughs> um, well, you brought up, you brought up a uh, patron of, of Ben Goddard. Um, that brings me to the question. Did you, did you become aware of Ben through the schmoes or did you become aware of the schmoes through Ben or were they at the same time? How, how is your relationship or not relationship, but your, uh, your awareness of the schmoes and everything uh, come from? Um, I, found out about Ben through SEN probably. I used to watch that pretty often. Um, so that is what it was. <laughs> SEN Live? Yeah. Yep. Um, now, what made you want to join the Schmodown other than obviously getting a little bit of training experience with, uh, with Ben? What was it that you were like, I'm definitely going to do this and then I'm going to hand it over to Mr. Harper? Well, I watched, I've been watching the show since like, 2017 I think so I've been a fan for a while and I always like played along and you know at one point I never got anything right and then like you just started to pick up on things like especially when questions started getting reused um, and then I ended up going to live events and just got really like into it and I still wasn't confident in myself enough to audition I was like these people have to be these like giant personalities and they have to be really good at trivia. And I don't feel super sure in either. So I was like, I don't know. But I'm very like happy for people who get that opportunity. And then Abby Friel reached out to me. And she, what kind of put me over the edge of like, yes, I should do it, is when she said like she would be really excited to have more people like her in the showdown. And I'm like, that's true. There's like no one. Like, there's Paul Oyama. Like, <laughs> I'm not Paul Oyama, you know? Like, we're, so I think there's a certain, like, especially with, like, the absence of the Shire Wolves, you know, like, there needs to be more females. So I auditioned, and that's how I got into it. <laughs> Thomas. Welcome. I was so excited hey, that I would get to be on. <laughs> Normally, we, we just see each other in training sessions and... Um, you know, somebody is under the hot seat. But I was, I made the comment earlier that I was so excited to see your match because I, you know, I knew the result ahead of time, but it's always really fun to see it play out. I want to mm -hmm. ask, because I know what my sort of final few minutes look like before you go into the match, but it's always really interesting, the different stuff that people do. What was your final, without revealing any secrets, obviously, but like, what's your, your like final few minutes? Like, what are you doing to get in the zone before you sit down and, and compete? <laughs> I was just trying to like, well, I was getting ready. I'm a procrastinator. So of course I was like trying to get like the last minute questions in, but then I'm also like 
I wanted to look decent on camera because I knew people would be watching. So I was like getting ready, like putting makeup on. And I'm like, I have like five minutes left. I was like, got my water. And then I had like two minutes to be like, okay, breathe. <laughs> like it's about to start. <laughs> Everyone's going to be super nice. And yeah, that's how it was. So. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I, I also wanted to ask you, I, I wanted to tell you if you didn't hear my comment earlier, I, I said it in the DM after or our, our, our like faction DM after, I watched your match, but your comment during the war movies spin, like so many great war movies to choose from. I was like cackling. And my wife is like, what are you laughing at? I was like, it's just a really funny joke at a really good Yeah, time. someone pointed that out. And I was like, oh, yes, my one joke of the match. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> the, the other question I'll ask before I, I kick it to Paige was, what was there a moment where you sort of locked in and, and felt like you were in the zone and like, okay, this is it? I'm I'm good. I'm my nerves are under control, and let's just do this thing. Well, I was half ex not half expecting, but going into it, I was like, "What happens if I get nothing right?" <laughs> and so <I> was like, <laughs> <laughs> right. and so getting just the first correct answer just like helped me to like get in and just yeah. I was just along for the ride, you know. <laughs> nice, Paige, go for it. Well, Hey Jessica, nice to meet you. Great. I know I'm the, I'm the only uh, suspect over here, so now I have the uh, Den all ganging up on me because Jay's a huge uh, Den fan. He's secretly obsessed with that. Uh, I do. Have he just won't admit it, but <laughs> if you can see it right at my fingertip, it says "Usual Suspects." There you go. Um, I like it. Represent. I uh, know, but uh, nice to meet you. And I mean, I gotta ask because I mean, I'm a woman in the Schmodown too. So how does it feel, kind of in a sense? to bringing more women and more diversity into the Schmodown? Like, what does that mean to you kind of in a sense? Um, <laughs> I don't know, it I just know feels really question. cool just like to be a <laughs> part of this certain like group of like awesome women and like be, I feel like we're all in a little club, even like spiritually, you know? Um, I would say, yeah, cause I mean, you're it. young too. So, I mean, you're probably one of the younger Schmodown competitors, right? I would say. Yeah, I'm 23, so I think there's very few people who are younger than me. It was funny, I was like going through my match and I'm like, how many questions were asked before I was born? <laughs> I, well, but, that was that was gonna be one of my questions for you. Like, how do you kind of like prepare and study in a sense? Because I mean, I'm only a couple years older than you, but uh, for like, in a sense, like for you, I'm assuming like, you're like, oh my gosh, this some of these competitors have been alive longer than I've been born. So yeah. how do I go against that? Maybe really study? is an especially difficult category for younger people because a lot of the strategy behind it is someone will be like, oh, I graduated high school when this movie came out and I saw it. In 82. <laughs> yeah. Like a lot of the times that I don't, the range of that being able, me being able to use that is less, <laughs> you know, because it starts at 98, but, um, <laughs> Yeah, so it's a lot more of studying versus using your experience and like background and like what you saw growing up. It's more of you have to like dig through filmographies and like look at that because Definitely. you can't just rely on what you've. Yeah. Well, well, you say that, but you had two huge steals in the wheel round. And those are, I mean, well, Big Daddy is more of an older movie than Kill Bill Volume 2. But Do you I'm, want to know <laughs> yes, the yes. big, the big daddy? But my, I think I would have. If I don't, I might have got. I might have guessed ninety eight if it was just straight up. But I know that the Sprouse, um, like Dylan and Cold Sprouse, are in that, and I'm like, they can't be older than like five. I mean, they can't be younger than, you know, like they're around five or six in that movie, and. I watched Sweet Life, Zack and Cody growing up, so I know they're about my sister's age. So I was like, they had to be born in like 93, 94. So I think they're like, 92. I think they're a year older than me. I was going to yeah, say, so I was like, like, I was like, if you're not a Riverdale fan, you do not know this. But uh, <laughs> they, can't, they couldn't have been five in 1995, you know? So it was like later than that. Well, that would have been around the right age because they did play young Ben on Friends. So that would be, yeah, it'd be about right. Yeah. I am soda, no. by the way. <laughs> soda, I'm not done asking questions. You get, I get one more, and then you go. Okay, man. Yeah, of course, of course. 
<laughs> uh, no, my last question for you, though, Jess, is... Uh, oh, she was serious. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> I thought... Uh, I, I don't care, but I thought you were just picking on him, and then you... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. No, Soda knows me, so we cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, uh, for you, though, I mean, getting into the Schmodown and watch, being a fan for so long, in a sense, who is your favorite competitor Like while watching? Like, who did you look up to and who were your com favorite competitors to watch, in a sense? Um, so, like, the go-to answer because of my FSU background is Dan, but he's everyone's favorites. <laughs> so I also really rooted for uh, the Shire Wolves when they were big, Those especially with well, like yeah. Rachel being kind of a more reserved person. Like I, like I'm not like the most shy person in real life, It take, but it takes me a while to like warm up. And um, so that kind of like not being as comfortable on camera, I think I can, she's very relatable, so. Um, yes. I've gotten to know her, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> Surprise, which is going to cut you off thanks to Paige asking more questions. Than, than <laughs> Sorry, no, let's Soda ask a question real quick. I, I feel bad. Here, I'd love shit shows, remember? <laughs> uh, you know, we do have a surprise. Sorry, Soda. And, and Soda, you were up next, but everyone, Kate Mulligan, <laughs> the mother herself. Snap too. Holy crap. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi, Paige. I say hi to the one that's not on my faction first. Hi, Paige. <laughs> How you doing? Then I, go to, then I go to Jess and Thomas. You know, we have to be polite to the neighbors. You know what I mean? You yell at your own kids. You're polite to the neighbors. Hi, Jay. How are you? How's everyone doing? Good. I'm very good. Thank you for uh, for your time here and uh, this little surprise for everyone. How are you? Yes. Um, I'm doing great. I, I, was, uh, I was half trying to work out this morning and then i uh caught a glimpse of my belly and then i just sat down and gave up <laughs> <laughs> you know who doesn't I do had that brownies Thomas for Harper. breakfast that you had brown feel better. <laughs> that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about um how many different states are we in right now uh countries um also uh i don't know yeah is I'm international in i think the, none of us in the same place we know Paige is in boston Yep. Boston, baby. <laughs> I'm in a different part of Pennsylvania than I'm normally in. I was gonna say, where are you at your in-laws place? I'm I'm up in the uh, the Poconos to the mountains. Oh. So if my internet suddenly drops out, you'll know that a bear has attacked the house. <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to find and another Star Wars player. To it's honestly me. well, that's okay. I'm actually flying <laughs> there right now <laughs> that's not on the table <laughs> not finding any other star wars players other than thomas harper okay <laughs> i will get there as soon as i need to to protect you from the bears um i it's funny because i don't it's almost like i don't recognize your face without like all the paraphernalia behind you i know that's <laughs> the star wars yeah. paraphernalia yeah yeah it does. Look <laughs> I was gonna say with the bongs in the background that i just missed <laughs> yeah. <during> the <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> All your and, all and, your sex toys behind you, Thomas. Oh, this is right. That yeah, that's my lightsaber. I swear. No, that's what the virtual <laughs> Star Wars background covers up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and hey, we were just talking about uh, about Jessica's match against yes. Beth May and and uh, her her season so far and uh, yes. her experiences in the den. Um, Soda uh, Soda here is it was the loser of our game. We play a game at the beginning of the shows now. He was our loser, so he was the last one to come into the interview. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to hand it to you, Soda. Uh, uh, get us into something here, because it is okay. your turn to have the floor. So, uh, hi, I'm Soda. I'm the uh, non-American person here. <laughs> hi, Soda. Hi. Why do you sound American? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm Canadian. Some French so. oh, I was, was going to say, you're Canadian, aren't you? Yeah, I'm Canadian, yeah. <laughs> British Columbia, baby. Um, okay, there no, you go, BC. Yes. Uh, so, Jess, my question for you is, at what point during the match did the nerves go away, or were they there throughout the whole match? I think I kind of settled in. Like, the, the part that was nervous for me, the game, like, for what it was, like, I wasn't nervous for competing in the match. It's almost like I forgot and I also have to be prepared to like answer interview questions and like the in-betweens of the show. Like I wasn't as nervous for competing as I was for the, the, the show aspect of it. So answering the questions after I got my first couple right, I was like, okay, like I can do this. Um, so yeah, those nerves dissipated pretty quick. Nice. And then also, I have a question. Oh, sorry. sorry, go ahead, Kate. 
No, I was going to say there was also a moment like I was actually surprised at how calm I, I'm, I don't think it made it to air. But there was a moment where like there was like a noise and you're like, is it my air conditioning? I'll go close. Like it was like in the middle of a question. You're like, I'll go yeah, close my the- door. You were like <laughs> very relaxed about that whole thing. Whereas like if anybody made any noise, like it might be like, stop. Like if the children are making noise or anything, I'm like, knock it off. Like you were very calm about like, I'll go close my door if you guys want. You seemed very actually self-possessed at that moment. <laughs> And no, I, have even a, your air conditioner. I have a question for you, Kate. So when it comes to game day, uh, how do you help prepare a, a rookie uh, like like Jessica as opposed to someone who's played uh, a few years like a Paul Preston? It's it's sort of – it's actually the same. We um, th- This year we are getting the wheel slices the morning of the match. And so mm-hmm. usually I try to talk with the player through the wheel and what – um, if there's any last minute studying we can do, uh, I'm sure everybody's doing this. Uh, that's not like a unique <laughs> tactic. I don't, I'm sure no factions looking at the wheel slice and being like, I'm not going to look at this, <laughs> like the wheels, you know? Um, but so that's, that's been kind of cool. And I think that's, that's a kind of a bummer. I, uh, I wonder if that's going to go away once the matches are live again, but somebody like Thomas, like they don't give a star Wars wheel in advance because star Wars wheel, you know, it's going to be yeah. like a bunch of the star Wars movies. And stuff. So we don't really have that, we don't get to actually sort of strategize about that. Um, but, you know, we sort of talked through the wheel slices and then the faction basically at that point takes over and it's like, all right, I can run some questions by you on this if you need or whatever. And it's, um, but it's the same, it's really the same, like, you know, same thing happened with Paul. We got the wheel and that day we were like, okay, what Paul, where are your, uh, where do you feel like your gaps are? And, you know, and then we go from there. So do you guys never get the wheel slices prior to this year? No, we never got the wheel. Oh. We get we oh. would get the wheel. We would know what we picked, but we would oh. never get the wheel. We never got to see the whole wheel. Okay. So, yeah. So that's I, yeah. I, I can see that being a major advantage this year for sure. And it's it's an equal advantage, with the yeah. exception of IG, it doesn't happen, and in Star Wars, it doesn't happen. Okay, so, it's, so it's not like it's not. I don't think it's changing <laughs> our game. I think it's changing everyone's. Because <laughs> Paige, you got your the wheel before the match, right? I didn't look at it. I didn't need to. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, no, yeah, definitely. I mean, when you see it, you you look at it, you talk with your manager, and you see what you need. You look at it, and you're like, all right, the ones that I think I need to study, I'm going to focus on those. And then yeah. and then you, you just feel comfortable. I mean, then again, at the day, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. I always yeah. say the schmodown is like 75% luck. And then 25% knowledge because at the end of the day, you don't know what the cards are going to get dealt, especially in singles. You, it could be anything at the end of the day. So it's just trying to know as much broad knowledge as possible and hope for the best. (laughs) Yeah. I, I, uh, I feel like, uh, each of the divisions is so tricky in different ways this year too because like singles uh, singles and teams is just like you gotta know everything about everything yeah and then star wars i mean it's it's literally like what were han solo's thoughts before <laughs> yeah. like it's just like what kind of socks like, did he wear Who's yeah and thomas like that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was like, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's fine. I got it. And that, that's a good point because, like, start with it's like pure curiosity. Literally, the wheel goes up, it immediately starts spinning, and you can't see what wheel slices because it's all, it looks, you know, it's all blurry. Mm. And then the wheel stops. And before I'm even thinking about whether I'm going to sit on the slice or not, you're like, what else is on here? Just out of, cu- it's like pure curiosity in our, our division. But, like, IG, I can't, I mean, that's, they're climbing a tough mountain because they have that same experience where you're like the wheel stops and then you're just looking like, okay, all right, that's helpful, I guess. And then you got to make your call. So it's, I, I don't envy the IG players at all. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jessica, I have a, I have a question. I like to ask uh, uh, some of the competitors. I like to ask, I, I have little questions I like to ask. Uh, but I'll ask you this one. What if year you- were you born, Jess? Are you old enough to be competing? Sorry, Jay. Was <laughs> that you were going to ask? Alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can, <laughs> but I cannot rent a car. Sorry, hey, Jay. That was ahead. weird. Show back. <laughs> better production, Kate, than I thought it was original. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, because no offense, Jessica, you're a lovely girl, but I am way too old for you. So... Uh, <laughs> Oh, no, no I was not headed that direction. <laughs> Damn it, Jay. Can 
<laughs> can you imagine if I'm just like if oh Frenchie is here? Hi. Can you imagine? Um, Hey, good to see you. Can you imagine if I was just acting as the madam for my players? <laughs> I was like, hey, do you see anything that you like? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. look at him. Like, what happened in uh, this conversation? The it was <laughs> so down. Ella, I'll be honest with you. That's Saul, fella. He's looking pretty randy to me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, uh, just Frenchie just watches this train go right off the cliff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I swear <laughs> For the Star Wars show, this is exactly what I meant by a show. <laughs> um, but but seriously though, if you could pick any in the in the entire history of Schmodown, any competitor to be on a team with, who would it be? Um, see, I should have thought about this before, but I haven't. <laughs> it's an easy question. You would have picked me. What are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> done deal. Because that's I always think about like the best teams are ones where. Um, they like complement each other, so it would be someone who's obviously older, who has seen older movies than I have not, and is more comfortable with that. Um, and then probably, like, oh man, I don't know. You can just say me; it's okay. Any suggestions? <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> if you were to ask me that question, I would say I would say Clark Wolf. Uh, she's probably my all-time favorite player in the history of Schmodown. And and I want to come on, Christian Skybound. We need the individual, like the throwback merch. We need throwback. Yes. Merch. <laughs> Dire Wolves merch. We need, dude. We need it. I need it. I, what am I saying? I want. It. <laughs> that's a that's actually I'm a great idea. But the yeah. throwback merch, the, those proceeds go to the den, right? <laughs> we have our own separate pool. <laughs> yeah, we have our own separate pool, just the throwback, even though they weren't on the it's den. It's our idea, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, that's how I remember it coming out, at least. Jess, I would put you, if I could put you with anybody in the Schmodown, I would put you with somebody that is older, and I would put you with somebody that is louder, which is basically anybody, because you really do have a very <laughs> quiet presence. Not, and that, and I, that is not a dig at all. I just feel like, yeah. And so, like, who's like, who's your, who's your, um, because I like who, it's the Swiss cheese model. I say this all the time, but if you're a piece <laughs> of Swiss cheese and somebody else is a piece of Swiss cheese and you put them together, you want there to be no no way to get through, right? So I actually who, thought about Roca as well, but because of like, there are certain players where I'll watch, like even when I like barely knew anything, like and I hadn't like studied at all, where they would get questions wrong and be like, how did you miss that? Like I knew that. Like it's obviously Aquamarine or something, and like, <laughs> and even in his most recent match, like him not knowing Will Smith, like that seems so obvious to me. But like he didn't yeah. know it, and I don't yeah. know. Certain. Meanwhile, yeah. when you if you got westerns with him, you'd be totally fine. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Adam was Adam another great one. Yeah, Adam would be a good one. Yeah, how, how you felt about those Roka questions? How I felt during your match when Beth missed the uh, Karate Kid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Did you guys talk about how great Beth May is yet, though? Oh, her, she's the female Koi. Oh, yeah, yeah. just a delight. Isn't she fits perfectly in the quirks? I will say. Yeah, that. she really yeah. does. She's just such a dot. When she put, when one of her answers was the dragon, I was like, <laughs> 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 was it the dragon? Oh my god! I wish oh. she had come with that Fu Man shoe of whatever that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that kill. Uh, yeah, just does. let it dry and leave oh. it. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, Mark Riley, Riley too. Would be great. Mark Riley too. Although Mark Riley, I mean, Mark also has a sort of relaxed energy these days too. Mark is sort of <laughs> like he'll sit yeah. back and answer the questions yeah. and like not take the bait, you know. See, yeah, I can see like a Paul Prince, Paul Preston mm -hmm. too. Paul Preston, you know what? You're not wrong about that, Paige. Yeah. Listen, comes, you guys on the same faction. You got us all sitting here trying to pair you up with some uh, Schmodown legends on a team. <laughs> when, when it we comes, to, team, Riley, guys. Yeah. When it comes to Riley, yeah, I, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of the aggressive Riley we got prior to his title match with Roka all those years ago, where he flipped out on him in the preview. Yeah, I thought, Riley was so good in that preview in that uh, promo. I still say it's his best one. I would have loved to have seen a little bit more of that from him over the years. Yeah, I think you know. I think the thing that's so interesting about. Um, Schmodown competitors are they're a lot like kids and it's just like you, what your kid needs is different based on the day based on the month mm -hmm. based and it's like and it's also individual like based on your kid so 
I feel like Riley's sort of in the space he needs to be right now. And, but I agree with you. I know, I know why that is also compelling, like that sort of angry mm-hmm. Riley, but I feel like he's really, um, especially with, you know, where he's at, like doing the good people association, uh, as his primary job right now, I think, I don't know. I think like, he's just the heads that where he's at is exactly where he needs to be. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to ride it with him. And how, how, how big is it this year to have somebody like a Mark Riley on your faction? Like how, how has that helped with preparation stuff? You know, And this is Mark. Mark has not been Mark. I I actually think that the thing that's making the season for the den right now is actually the people that you're looking at. It's, it's the the newcomers that are just, yeah. And Jay Wade, sorry. And and Paige has been huge in assisting (laughs) us. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you so much. Paige. (laughs) All right. It's, it's, I I have to say it's actually all of it's the, the hunger that the den has starts from the, the, the new members and it definitely gets, um, you know, we've got like the Sauls and the, and the Pauls and the Ben sort of running the show behind the scenes, you know, with the study sessions and whatnot. Mm. Um, but, and, and Rachel for that matter too. Um, so we have like sort of the veterans doing that. Mark hasn't been able to sort of really um, jump into that so far. So it's, it's new for me that I have somebody that um, I've never, I've never had a belt holder before. So having a high profile match like him versus Bateman is new for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, unless you count the flirt and flouse versus Kevin Smith. Yeah. <laughs> that's a bit, that's um, big on a different level. That was big on a different level. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like the, the energy and the sort of, um, the momentum that the faction has going right now is actually coming from the Jesses, from the Thomas Harpers, from the Peggy Gubbins, from the Jaders, from the, I mean, and, and Jader's not new to this at all, but like, mm-hmm. and Ben Goddard, uh, who is our captain. I mean, it's, I feel like it's just this, it's this teamwork makes the dream work situation. And yes, we do have Alonzo and we do have Mark Riley. Um, and they just, because of their life, like they're, they're not as involved yet. And I'm sure when they can be involved, they will be involved. But, um, but yeah, it's it's actually this is a young team. This is like youthful energy that I feel like I'm I'm getting to sort of experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like and sub, y'all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and kind of what Kate just said though too. I think that's like, I mean, I can't speak for all factions, but I feel like it is kind of like that. I think a lot of the younger rookies, the younger players, and the rookies are kind of we're new to this, so we need to prove ourselves. And so that's why we're kind of trying to take charge and just be like, all right, we need to work our butt off. Let's do this together. Like we're in this together, so mm-hmm. we need to do this together. I think that's the best part about being on a faction, like and getting to know your teammates and stuff, because we're there to help each other out. And especially our, the rookies, we need to prove ourselves. So we want to be there and say, let's do this because we need to get this done. So, yeah. And it's infectious. I think it, it affects everybody else on the team when, you have people like Jess who are willing to like, Hey, I've got a few free hours. Like who needs what? And I'll just jump in and do stuff, uh, in, including in areas that I'm not comfortable or familiar with. I'll, I'll help you in whatever you need. Cause you see a player like Paul Preston, who is behind the scenes inspired, I think by folks uh, like everybody who's been mentioned. And he said it himself. He's like, I watch the sort of fire that, that people bring into training sessions and it inspires me to step up. And then on the other end of the spectrum, in terms of experience, you get somebody like a Lacey Gillerin, who's a Star Wars competitor on our team, but is hey, jumping honey, in. Not mentioning her. Thank you for mentioning. No, her. I mean she's. She I, I like Jess. If she missed a singles uh, prep session, like I, I'm not in a lot of those, but like she's she's playing mock matches in in teams matches and singles stuff. She's doing play alongs like that. That's just a really unique environment, and and it starts like square one is with the people like Jess who are willing to, uh, like they're they're not coming in just like cheerleading. They're coming in like substantively. What do you need in this moment? And here's my time uh, that I'm giving to you to to make it work. So that's you can't ask for a better environment than that. And Lacey, by the way, it turns out Lacey's really good at singles. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> like, she's oh, like, I am not. Turns- <laughs> it's very good. Thomas, we need you to do the thing that you do. What yeah. did you just? What happened? Thomas? I've got like a mirror here and a whole big thing. Don't worry, my brain is still intact. I can remember. I was like, what did I do? I can remember. We need to him. 
as so long as I saying, can sit up and speak and write on a whiteboard, I'm okay. Honestly, so if saying, I just do it laying down, I don't care. That's I don't care. Just as long as you can write. So what you're saying, Kate, is you potentially have another two division player on your hands. Yeah. Really yes. Simple. Honestly, I, I mean, yeah. uh, she, I think she could do well. She she really and she by the way she's incredible at Star Wars. There's no mm. question about that. Like I'm not saying I'm going to move her out of Star Wars, but what a what a hidden gem to to draft somebody like her and be like I'm excited about her for Star Wars and then find out she's like this incredible singles player. She's like, well, that's sort of my thing. I'm like, how do you so many things? <laughs> she's 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 a really I can't think of a single session that she hasn't been part of. She's nice. always there for everybody. And this probably applies to, to other factions as well. Like Paige, you, you probably bring some of this to, to uh, the usual suspects as well. But I feel like the influx of rookies across divisions, you're getting to see folks with with talents and with uh, specialty areas in what are just like, just based on their own like life experiences that are unique. And so you're going to see better matchups, I think, across the board because players like Jess and Paige are i think uniquely different in in some of the things that they're incredibly strong at versus like a dan merle or a ben bateman that have to like really really double down and like work hard in some of those areas that come naturally to them and and so the schmodown has gone from maybe like the, the same sort of cut of player to now this really broad spectrum and i think it, it increases the challenge as the matches go forward as as rookies get more and more matches under their belts because it like gone are the days where you're like, okay, here's the small pool that I'm playing in. And I know, I know what Roka is good at, what he's not good at. Now it's like, okay, well, I'm, I'm experiencing players that are really good in some areas that I never really had to challenge myself in. So I think that's, that's exciting. Oh yeah. I think that's where the rookies, we get our advantage in a sense, because we've seen these vets play, we know what they're good at and what they're not. So that definitely goes in our favor in a sense, especially when, yeah. like I said earlier, there's no film tape on me besides my first match. So no one knows what I put on the wheel or what mm -hmm. I'm good at besides what you've seen me answer. So I think that's an advantage all of us rookies definitely I think have. I like you'd be good at Ben and Matt and Ben. I'm going to go ahead and put that out there. <laughs> Maybe. I feel like you'd be good at that and like any questions that need to be answered outside of the schmo down about new kids on the block. Also yeah. from I got you. <laughs> Oh, yes. Nice. Just a wild, a wild set of guesses. Yeah. yeah. I feel the like she needs... are my lovers, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's the right stuff. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Take it step by step, okay, Sona? Oh, yeah. Please don't go, girl. Just please don't go. <laughs> wow. You're my age, dude. If you know, please don't go, girl. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, I had babies. I was, I'm born I in 87. Know. I had babysitters oh, listening to that. I, I had babysitters fine. listening to it. So I, and I oh. do still have the hanging tough cassette tape at my parents' yeah. place. <laughs> Please don't go, girl. Yeah. That's before joining. I was say, I've been to a new kids on the yeah. block concert, so nice. <laughs> they hey, played the Fenway, so I had to go. So, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Also, when we what? said when we said BC when we said BC to when I said BC to Soda earlier, Paige said I was talking about Boston College. Oh, <laughs> I, did. I was disappointed when you weren't. So. Yeah. Jay, were you just talking? I'm sorry. You were muted, I no, think. That's fine. That's fine. I was just saying how amazing it was that that, that me as, as an adult went to see Britney Spears for her oops that I did it into her and it was really fun. I'm very uh, jealous. You know, I've seen Britney you're... Spears in concert. She was not very good because it was later in her career. Uh, <laughs> well, was, thank was, I will admit it was a hell of a show when I saw her. <laughs> I've never seen anybody in concert along those lines, but I've been lucky enough. I got to see Joan Jett open for Aerosmith. I saw Bon Jovi kiss twice, Def Leppard. Like, that's my gem. I can't say I've ever seen anybody in the pop genre. I've seen Pearl Jam seven times, dude. You too. Pearl times. Jam, you see my poster right there? Let's nice. see if you can. There you go. You go. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but, uh, Harper's like, I saw Return of the Jedi 7,000 times. I haven't <laughs> seen Star Wars in concert. Like, like now I'm jealous. <laughs> the orchestra. Yeah. No, wait, are you serious? There's a Star Wars concert? Yeah, they have like a... Uh, they went, do it with Harry Potter, too. Yeah, they do it like yeah. a full orchestra, and they put the movie up. Go so, I, I, I'm in a community band, and one year we played an arrangement of uh, a Star Wars medley that came out in the 70s, and in the middle of our concert, our, our um, baritone player who had the solo for Leia's theme, he has this thing where sometimes he stops paying attention, and he starts playing in a different, uh, he's a few beats behind everybody else, so in the middle of concert, I almost jumped out of my seat and strangled him for doing that to Leia's theme. <laughs> I was so I mad. 
Yeah. Pop it right I down got my on his ukulele head. real quick. <gasps> I did. <laughs> I love how they, that. I, I just like turned the show the right star. back to me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, we got a few minutes here before we do our plugs. Um, uh, Kate, let me ask you something about today's free for all. Yes. Uh, who do you predict will be in the free for all from the den? <laughs> <laughs> who do I predict? Yeah. Uh, of course, of, of course, probably, probably Thomas Harper and I'm Jessica make a, Sloth because I'm make they a deep run. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, so, anyway, Taco, Taco. Taco by the way, Taco, let me know what your wife's name is, and I'll say something to her in the accent. I heard that she misses it. She's the only one on the planet that misses that accent, so I'm going to make sure I give her some love. By the way, um, Paige's accent is real, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I can't fake it. No, she's. I'll tell you oh, what. She's, it's like, but that's also like my husband's family is all from Dorchester. They're from. Oh, they're no from. Way. Yeah, like I've got. Uh, they, they're down in Worcester, and his aunt talks. And she's always just like, "I got to go down to Packy." It's <laughs> like it's just like she says things, and I'm like, "Are you?" It's almost there's like like old Boston. It's almost um. It's like part British. There's like she's like she'll be like, "Yeah, no, I have to. I, I, I'm gonna go get some half and half." And it's like sort of like <laughs> half and half. It's, it's, it's yeah. It's so funny because I'm yeah. I mean, I'm, only, I'm not that young. I mean, I'm 27 years old. But a lot of people are like, your Boston accent's so strong. And I'm just like, I mean, I went to school in Boston, like high school. So that's probably why. Yeah. But um, I was like, I can't help it, guys. My no. parents have very strong Boston accents, though, too. So, well, Dick, my I sometimes say things in, yeah. I sometimes say things in accents that aren't even mine. So, <laughs> <laughs> I've been mine a few times. Yeah. on accident uh well, speaking I, of the accents i just gotta say hi to leslie real quick leslie is taco's wife god almighty what kind of name is taco what do you yeah you get marry him on a tuesday <laughs> you get that one because it's i just don't know why people couldn't take this lady seriously she was... anyway leslie you're uh you're a great gal uh you know, just remember Michael Jordan over Larry Bird every day. No offense to Paige. Front news Paige. <laughs> name, okay, right? I'm good. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Thomas, 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 Thomas and Jess, how happy are you that I dropped that? <laughs> <laughs> Kate, I have to say, though, by the way. Thank you. So remember when I, in my match, I taught, I was like, let me whip out my Dunkin' Donuts Dunkin', napkin. Yeah. And they thought I was plugging a show or something. And I was like, at least Kate knew what I was talking about. <laughs> talking <laughs> napkin. Yeah, no, no show. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that was awkward. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> I don't know how Ellis didn't know donkeys. Come on now. And, yeah, his family's from here. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <gosh. laughs> um, I, think, I think Jessica Schloth and Thomas Harper are going to be in the free for all. Cool. For the den, yeah, because they're here right cool. now. So, and it starts in forty-five minutes. So, that's definitely going to be them. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. I'm going to say everyone in the suspects because we're dominating. So, I'll I'll give you yeah I'll I'll Full tell you roster. yeah I'll tell you who Full I think will be appearing. I'll tell you what we're going to have at least one rookie and at least one surprise Ooh. from the den. Is what I, I love say. surprises. And I think everybody else you will probably have anticipated. Now, now, one final question before we wrap up, because it is time to wrap up. Um, Kate, you just said something there, and I want to ask you. Uh, was there anything – was there a, uh, was it mandated that there has to be at least one rookie uh, in the free-for-all? Mm -hmm. nope. Was there nothing said about that? All right. Not I'll at all. No. This was, and I honestly, what I'll tell you is like the decisions I made was, um, it was, um, people came to me and said, Hey, I'd like to throw my hat in the ring for this. And I said, okay, well, I'm planning on this and we'll see if I have a spot, you know? Um, and, but then the same person that is the rookie that came to me, they said also, um, scratch that. I don't want you to consider me for this. I want this. And I was like, that's baller. That mm -hmm. person's going in. <laughs> Yeah. So, so that's that, like, was, that was, yeah. That's like the, the second to last job I had. The last thing I told the guy when I left, I shook his hand and I said, well, when you interview the other two people and realize you want to hire me, give me a call and I'll start Monday. And yes. Dude called me the next day and was like, you're hired. Boom. Yes. 
So that's how that to help me in my life. I was gonna say I feel like that's an age move and that's not a Jess move. Coming up very soon and want to give ourselves as well as you all and the viewers a break to uh, to relax before that starts. Let's go around the horn here. Uh, my co-host, uh, we'll start with you, Soda. Would you mind telling us uh, what you got going on and where people can find you at, sir? Uh, so yeah, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Soda underscore the underscore Saxman. Um, you can find me over on the Schmoes of the North uh, YouTube channel where every week we do two shows breaking down the week in the Schmodown. One dedicated to the three matches that came up for the week. The other one usually for the pay-per-view. Um, and you can also find me over in the Media Sways Network where I do several shows over there. You've got Recapping the Past where me and Ben Rayner, we sit and we uh, we review seasons of old TV shows that we like. Right now we're in the middle of Friends and uh, very fun show to watch while you're uh, a little on the tipsy side. Um, <laughs> And uh, also on uh, Shooting the Breeze, where we just sit down and shoot the shit for an hour with everybody. And then on our flagship show, uh, Get Sweaty, which is just our top five show. Uh, we just recorded one prior to this, which was our top five animated uh, TV theme songs with lyrics. Nice. Uh, lots of good stuff going on at Schmoes of the North and uh, Sweaty's. Uh, I Sorry, dude. I'm not even going to try. Okay. Um <laughs> I always I always get the words mixed up. But, yes, uh, please check all of that out. And I've been on Shooting the Breeze uh, three mm -hmm. times. That is a very fun show. Yeah, um, especially the one where we talked about cannibalism. Yes, yes. <laughs> there is an order. Dude, if you're in, in a live or a Donner Party situation, there is a specific and proper order uh, as to who you kill to eat. Because it will get – if it gets to that point – where you have to kill people. You yeah. can't just be willy-nilly about this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And one of the, my favorite, personal favorite ones was were the one where I, I decided to have a smoke beforehand and Lou broke my brain talking about existentialism. You can actually see my brain break on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it wasn't the weed that broke your brain. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it was a guy in a French accent talking about uh, existentialism. I was like, okay. <laughs> And uh, Thomas Harper, uh, why don't you tell everyone uh, where they can find you at? Yeah, you can come uh, bullshit about Y-Wings with me on Twitter. My handle's there. It, as creative as it really is, Thomas L. Harper. And I dropped the link to the uh, that Red Cross event. I'll, I'll just briefly plug that. Go sign up. Take two seconds. And we'll see you on May 4th. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you for, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, Paige wants to tell everybody where they can find you at. Yeah, you guys can check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Front Page News 9 right there. Um, you guys, I also run my own movie blog on Instagram titled Feature Flicks Without the Sea. So go check it out. We post that uh, movie news, reviews, and all that fun jazz. And yeah, thank you guys so much for having me on. And guys, May 7th, The Bad Batch, We're coming in hot. Star Wars shit show. <laughs> the Bad Batch, a Star Wars shit show, premieres May 7th on this channel with myself. Dean uh, Lewis, Sean AFK, Paige for Betty, and Thomas Harper, and maybe Sarah will stop by too. Um, Jessica, when, does the, when does the Bad Batch come out? Sorry to interrupt. The Bad Batch starts uh, May 4th. Oh! And then, yes, and then uh, oh. starting a Star Wars show on this channel called The Mad Batch yes. because I'm crazy and so is everyone else around me. I love it. <laughs> um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, Jessica, though, great match this week. Um, thank uh, really, you. Really great. <laughs> um, thank you for your time being our guest today. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, why don't you tell folks where they can find you and if you've got anything going on, the floor is yours. I don't really have anything. You can follow me on Twitter if you want. It's just at Jessica Schloth, but that's about it. Well, there you go, oh, guys. Sweet, I like it. Right to yep, the point. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, don't, okay. I don't have any shows. <laughs> Mother That's because she's in college. You keep studying, sister. Yeah. <laughs> Get that degree. Uh, Paul again. Uh, won't tell everybody where they can find you at. They can, uh, yeah, they can find me outside Thomas Harper's door in the Poconos, protecting him from <laughs> bear attack. <laughs> I will. The bear up. If hey, someone wants to animate like, that, please do. Yeah, I'm just saying. You can eat his legs, just me. don't touch it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can eat his legs. I just need his hands and his brain intact. Okay, <laughs> uh, I have no use for the rest of them. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm. You know, I'm on SCN two days a week uh, on the, the Shmoda Entertainment Network, and then um, Brett and Kate have a play date on the SCN Network. If you're a, a Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. Patron, you're a patron of the Patreon, and then on Instagram and Twitter, I am at Katest Mom Ever, and I am 
terrible at both. I just, I don't, I check three days, like every three days or so. So, um, but yes, congrats to the sleeper on her rookie mm-hmm. debut. How about it? Yep. yep. Cool, calm, and collected. That's my work. Absolutely. You can turn my air conditioner off if you want. Is that bothering? <laughs> it, was this, like, it was amazing. It's getting under your skin. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Is I'm that so, bothering you? What you're saying Let's is she's we're all sweating bullets in our first match. Yeah. I mean, I had a leather jacket on. I was just like, holy shit. This yeah. is wet right now. They got no one could smell me through my camera. Like, <laughs> <laughs> So based on the air conditioner comment, Jessica, are you part Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> No. You're so kind. So, yeah, so I'm kind in Florida, I need that air conditioning. That's right. Fair point. <laughs> oh, okay, this is me doing the Sarah move and reeling it back in. Um, she's done that before on shows, and it's amazing. She, she just just look at you and just go, "Come on, guys." That's it. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but no, um, I do want to say real quick, 3 PM tomorrow on Schmoes of the North, they're doing a show, uh, free for all coverage. Um, and also our friends over at let's get ready network tonight are doing a post show. Um, Paige, you're also on spin from the reel tonight, right? I am eight 30. Be there y'all. We're going to be talking free for all and all that fun jazz. So, yep. so uh, thank everyone for your support for this show and go support all the shows. There's a lot of great people, a lot of great content out there. Uh, please like, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff for this. Uh, you can find me at jwade 1134 on the Twitter and stereo and at the Jcast network on Twitter and stereo as well. Um, and yeah, shit guys. Uh, I think that's it for me. I ain't got nothing else to say. Uh, I want to thank you all so very much for your time. Uh, Kate, Jessica, Thomas, Paige, and Soda Man. Uh, thank you all very much. And uh, until next week, everyone have a great and safe week. Enjoy that free for all, guys. Later. Yes. Have fun. You want to hear something funny? The mic wasn't on that whole time. No way. Yeah, for real. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> So smooth.